Hello, Matthews Gatos here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to factor using the box method. So we have a trinomial ax squared plus bx plus c. First thing I'm going to do is always check for the GCF. So I've checked for the GCF, I factored it out. With the trinomial that remains, I am going to find two numbers that multiply to a times c, coefficient of the first term times the constant, and also add to b, which is the coefficient of my middle term. Then I'm going to set up my box. So first term goes in the first box, last term goes in the last box, and then I break apart my middle term with my two factor pairs, factor one and factor two in any order. Once I've done that, I factor the GCF from each row and column, and don't forget to take the sign of the leading coefficient of x out. So if x is positive, I take out a plus. If x is negative, I take out a subtract. So let's go ahead and try this example. I want to factor 4g squared plus 5g minus 6. So first thing I look for is GCF. Since 5 is a prime number, I know there's no GCF. So then I look at first term 4, last term negative 6. 4 times negative 6 is negative 24, which is my product. And then the middle term of 5 is my sum. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 24 or add, sorry, and add to 5. So I can list out all the products myself or I can just go to my graphing calculator and enter it in. So in my graphing calculator, I enter in y1, negative 24 divided by x, and then I go into the table and see all the factor pairs. So I scan down the list, I'm looking for my integer pairs only, no decimals, and I see that this factor pair here is the one that I think works. So positive 8, negative 3, positive 8, negative 3. Now I can't stress this enough. When you find your factor pairs, take a quick second to check, because if you make a mistake in this step, the whole question is wrong. So positive 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. Yes. Positive 8 plus negative 3, positive 5. Looks good. So first term goes in the first box, last term goes in the last box, and my two factor pairs go in the remaining two boxes in any order. Now I look at the factor pairs. So in row number one, 4g squared and 8g, that has a GCF of 4g. In row number two, 3 and 6 have a GCF of 3, but since this is a negative, I'll take it out as subtract. In column number one, 4g squared and 3g, that has a GCF of just g. And in column number two, 8 and 6 have a GCF of 2. Since this is positive, I take out an addition. So that means that my trinomial up here factors as 4g minus 3 and g plus 2. So that is how you factor using box method. I hope this video helped and I look forward to seeing you for the next one.